Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another segment of uh, Amateur Cooking with Shasha. Uh, thank you very much for all my followers, all my fans. I uh, really appreciate the thumbs up, really appreciate uh, the uh, subscribing, uh, and I'm hoping you're enjoying this experience with me. So, it's Amateur Hour, anything goes, and what we're making today is uh, tacos. Uh, we're making chicken tacos and while I'm why am why am I making chicken tacos because it's a lot easier it's a lot quicker to make uh, of course you can use lamb uh, which is very nice but uh, for today I would like to do it with chicken my following segments I'll get a bit of lamb in there maybe some steak as well and make a lot of different uh, uh, dishes so for today we're doing a uh, taco uh, chicken taco so I have a 2 kg wash clean cut Fillet, chicken fillet, we've got some turmeric, some chicken spices, we have some salt. Uh, we don't need too much of salt because in the chicken spice itself, we need a bit of salt in here, it smells brilliant. Uh, some ginger garlic, uh, some nice uh, lemon and herb sauce, uh, guacamole, salsa, and some tomato sauce. I like to add a little bit of tomato sauce into the salsa to get a little bit more sauce uh, going there. And to my right hand side, I've got some cut up uh, tomatoes half just in case you know chicken gets a little bit dried out when it's on the fire then it can be flowing to add a little bit more flavor so let's get cracking with it and let's start off with this bad boy so we're going to take our two cages uh, cut up cubed uh, nice and cubed it depends uh, on the size it's 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 not too big it's nice small decent size um, you know, as you can see there it's very small cut up you know of course to go into the taco so I'm gonna leave that there for a while we're gonna put in some nice ginger garlic to get the nice flavoring that smell of the meat uh, teaspoon is fine I'm throwing a teaspoon of the ginger and garlic and we're gonna throw in some of the chicken spices a nice full teaspoon Yeah, nice hip. Just get it all over there. Okay. And then we're gonna take just a pinch of turmeric. Not too much, just a pinch. Good. Just a pinch. There we go. Get it out of the way. And then we're gonna add in our uh, lemon and herb sauce as uh, lemon and herb so you know I like my food nice and mild very lemon and herb but with the Mexican you know some guys like Mexican food nice and spicy nice and strong it goes well so please feel free to add any 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 strong sauce that you would like but for me in particular lemon and herb goes quite well and this is about um, it's about two tablespoons or two and a half tablespoons of uh, lemon and herb sauce I'm going to get it all in here, just throw that in, throw that in nicely, okay, that's nice, so, there we go. So you can also add in some lemon juice if you want. Uh, I've got some lime over here, and maybe I can just squeeze it, maybe half or so, to add a little bit more flavoring to it. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut up uh, maybe just half the uh, half lime. I'm just going to squeeze it in here nicely. I think. Just do a nice big squeeze in here. and you would have gathered from my previous videos you can always use this as compost so feel free to chuck it into your garden and uh, now we're going to mix it up nicely let's give it a good mix let's get my spoon over here and give it a nice good mix So if you've been following me, you would have seen on my first video how to make uh, salsa. So 
so if you haven't you're missing out quite a lot so please do subscribe to my channel and follow me so I'm giving this a nice mix it's important to mix it nicely and um, get the nice uh, spices all mixed up want you also to marinate for a while yeah it's starting to smell good already huh eh? this chicken spice is lovely nice brilliant it smells good yeah. it's a good nice light meal um, good for the late afternoon snack yeah, sometimes you can use a full meal it's good it's a good appetizer have some guests over or you just lazy you don't want to do much cooking and you can see this is very quick very easy it doesn't take too much of time and that's why I say using chicken get done a lot faster so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna leave this over to to soak in a bit get the, get the spices all soaked into the chicken uh, and while that is marinating in for the while yeah well you can smell it smells great while this is marinating in for the while what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take my tacos and put it into the oven and um, so you would like to maybe preheat your oven, preheat your oven for about uh, uh, get going at uh, 180 degrees. These tacos take very quick to get done. Two three minutes and it's done. When you see it nice and crispy, you pull it out. So I'm gonna leave this in for a while, and I'm gonna take this across to the oven now. Okay, so while the oven is getting preheated, um, we're gonna start making our chicken. So let's get the fire going here. Okay, so I got the heat going nicely. I'm gonna throw in a bit of uh, olive oil in here. Uh, a little bit too much. Uh, no, it's important that the chicken doesn't stick. So yeah, but you can always add a little bit in more just to see. So I'm gonna leave this over here for a while. Okay. So let's make it nice. Heated. Yep, I feel the heat already. It's nice. Okay. So let's go. Start to hear the sizzle. Let's wait a little bit more hot. Okay, so I'm going to add in the chicken now. Nice and hot. You can hear the sizzle. Good. The chicken doesn't take long to get done. So the challenge that I have today is a little bit breezy out here, so the fire is a little bit uneven. As you can see, the heat's not spread nicely. The wind is blowing it, so it's taking a little bit longer than usual. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it's still coming out nice. It's, it's great. You can smell that aroma as well. It's it's brilliant. It's getting done nicely. Um, so I'm going to leave it to simmer for a while because. I need it to, to, to cook nicely, you need the chicken to be nice and cooked. Um, and of course with the breeze is definitely not in my favor. But I mean if you were here you could you could you could you could smell that. It's brilliant. It is brilliant. You're gonna tuck into it right now. <laughs> 
and the beauty of chicken, it gets done nice, you can you know, scoop right into it. So you can hear that sizzle happening again. So, which means that the breeze has subsided a little bit. That's great. So what I'm also going to do is, as it gets a little bit more done, I'm going to throw in maybe half cut up my tomato. I'm going to throw it in there, but just wait a little bit more. Okay, so the chicken is almost uh, ready, so I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. I'm going to throw in some cut up, I'm throw in some of my cut up tomatoes in here, just to get a little bit more flavor into this. And the only reason why I'm using half a tomato is because it's only like two, two fillets in here, so not a lot. Just come down a little bit. Okay. Then I want to get my chopped up tomatoes in here. I don't have too much, just, just a little bit. Half is great. Okay, so our chicken is now nearly done. I'm gonna now turn down the heat and I'm gonna go now fetch the taco. It's important to serve this thing while it's still nice and hot so you can enjoy the flavor. It's still nice and juicy when you bite into it with all the other added sauces. It would be fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this thing down and then go fetch the tacos. Okay, so our tacos are nice and hot in the oven oven and we are ready to plate. So the tacos are very delicate, you want to be nice and gentle with them, nice and soft. Uh, you want to take a nice, maybe a smaller spoon and scoop it into it. So this is where, when you're chopping up your, your meat or your chicken, you need to go as small as possible. Um, so maybe I didn't think this thing completely through, but if you look at it, I've got some fairly small decent pieces in here. So I'm going to put it in nicely. Like I said, it is going to be gentle with it as well. I want to crack it. Um, so I'm bringing it over here, so I'm trying not to mess. And if it does mess, it is inside. Yeah. You want to make some space for the other sauces there as well. You're going to, you're going to put the salsa, you're going to put the guacamole, which I'll take you over there now. But uh, the flavor of this is brilliant. And these are quite small now, so I'm not going to fill it up too much. Because uh, this taco is also quite small. Uh, I want to try to get some of the salsa as well. So that's that's the, the tricky thing about this now. <laughs> you know, you want to try to squeeze in as much as possible as well so you can get the different flavors into it. So I'm gonna, I think this should be uh, enough. I'm not certain. Yeah, it looks about right. I'm gonna leave my spoon here. I'm gonna bring over my salsa. Let's bring my spoon. So, if you remember in the beginning, I told you that you can add some bit of tomato sauce as well. Let's get a bit of flavoring going. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit as well. So this is also about a, I'm gonna leave this down for a while. This is also about a tablespoon in here. Mix it up nicely. Wow, this is looking great, man. Eh? I hope you watched my first video. <laughs> well, in my first video, I didn't add the tomato sauce, but uh, today we've got it. It looks nice. Really, really looks nice. It has a nice, nice and saucy as well. So, this is great. Okay, so ready to add in our. So I'm just going to take my taco again I'm going to gently just put some over here so here we go nice and easy nice and easy there we go 
nice and easy. There you have it. There you have it. Wow, this is looking great. This is looking fantastic. And you can see it's very quick, very easy. It didn't take us too long. This is brilliant. Looking nice and saucy. Um, to top it up, we're going to add some guacamole in here as well. Got some nice good guacamole and I'm busy looking around for my teaspoon. There we have it. So, I'm going to put some nice guacamole in here. So you still want to be nice and careful and gentle because you know these shells are quite <laughs> delicate. So you can put a nice little dollop of it or spread it out. I mean it depends on your liking of uh, guacamole. I mean you know some people love too much, some people don't like so that's really up to you. But you know you don't want to you know, put a nice nice amount. You know, not too much and not too little. You know, let me get a nice one over there. So yeah I think it's looks alright. Okay, now I'm going to spread and I'm going to take, I'm going to leave it down right here. I'm going to get my next one. So there's my shell. Okay, not too hot anymore because I'm outside. Now as I said, you want to get it in when it's still nice and hot. Well, both the, the meat uh, or the chicken as well as this. So. Put that in nicely again. Let's get that going. Oops, two daisy. Sorry about that. But that's why I'm doing it over there. <laughs> that's why I can. And uh, yeah, cut it up as fine as possible, as small as possible, depending on the size of the taco as well. So you can you know, get as much food in as possible without forcing it. Because it is dangerous. No doubt. Wow, it smells great. I can hear the birds chirping. I think they probably want to dig into some of those tacos, eh? Can you hear it? They're probably hovering above me as well, eh? <laughs> They're waiting for me to turn around. <laughs> so, I'm going to take some of this nice salsa again. And uh, you can really see there's a difference when adding the tomato sauce. It's, it mixes nicely with, with the other sauces as well. So, I'm going to spread this in nicely. Nice little mixture to spread it in. Spread it in there. Ah, looks good. Looks good. Looks nice and juicy. Wow. Okay. So there you have it. And then throw in some of the guacamole again. Nice. Place it on top. Trying to be as delicate as possible. Well, you can see I'm an amateur, eh? So, but I'm assuming the guys will, not assuming, the professional guys or the real chefs <laughs> will handle this a lot better than I am. But looking good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna smear it in. I'm just gonna try to place it there. It looks good just by placing it on top instead of smearing it in. Like that's for me. And uh, yeah, this actually looks good. Just placing it in. Wow. Yeah. Maybe that would have been a better idea. Just to place it on top instead of just smearing it in. So I'm going to leave this one like this. And not smear it in like the other one. And there you have it. Nice. So we have another taco here. Looks nice and good. And uh, of course, for some garnishing, I've got some nice little corianders. Um, yeah, I've got to pull out some mint from the garden, but uh, mint would have been nice. So I'm just going to try to, to just smooth this out a little bit. There. Place that in out. Okay, so we made just one more taco as well. So we put some garnishing on here. This should make it nice and pretty. You know, you can have some nice salad. And you could have cut up some some nice little salad and just, just some garnishing just to make the pad a bit more colorful. Put a little something here, a little something here, a little something here. But what do I have a little something is 
I have my line. So I'm gonna cut a piece of my line. Always comes in handy. Place one on this side, place one on the other side as well. And uh, you could also drizzle it over, you know, whilst, whilst you're indulging in it. You could just drizzle, take a bite, drizzle, take another bite. And uh, there you have it. Looks pretty good if I must say so. We have a nice chicken taco. There you have it. So that's all for me today, aka Chef Shack. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this experience with me as much as I have. Uh, please do follow me, subscribe to me, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Try it out at home. You'll be you'll be amazed and you might just end up impressing yourself like I have. Bon appetit.